Hi everyone, welcome to InfoCraft. Edge of Spider-Verse 2014 issue number 4 offers a dark and twisted take on the Spider-Man origin story. Patton Parnell, an unsettling and disturbed young man, becomes a grotesque version of Spider-Man after being bitten by a radioactive spider. His transformation leads to a descent into madness and violence, presenting a horror-themed reimagining of the Spider-Man mythos. The story starts like this. Patton Parnell is a young teenager who acts in disturbed ways, such as incinerating ants and spying on his next-door neighbor and classmate Sarah Jane, all the while being yelled at by his Uncle Ted. On a field trip of his school to the Alcorp Industries HQ, Sarah Jane talks to him so she can get his help to uncover Alcorp's experiments on animals, even though her boyfriend, Jean, is picking him on. While the excursion goes off, Sarah Jane and Patton sneak into the laboratory, setting off the alarm once they step in. While Sarah rushes trying to save the animals, Patton becomes mesmerized with a spider, ignoring the warning label indicating that it's an irradiated female spider. As he picks up the spider, she bites him on the hand, just as he and Sarah Jane are caught by security. After being reprimanded, they're both allowed to leave, with Sarah Jane inviting Patton to join her, since he reveals that his parents are dead and his uncle works at night. Once at home, Patton starts to feel sick, and then he's confronted by his uncle who yells at him and beats him with his belt. Later on, Patton searches for food, finding a mouse behind the door, eating it as he discovers that the spider somehow imbued him with its powers. Patton starts hunting other animals as food, until his uncle Ted comes home, discovering to his horror the house wrapped up with spider webs. Patton states that it's dinner time before attacking his uncle. The next day, he resumes his normal life until he's confronted once again by Jean, who challenges him to a fight at lunchtime. Later, Patton meets a kid whose dog is missing and tells the boy the dog is at his house, inviting him over. That evening, Patton researches about the spider species that bit him, discovering that their females lay their eggs through their bite. Afterwards, Sarah Jane visits him, asking him about Jean's whereabouts since he's not responding her calls. Patton tells her she deserves someone better than Jean, and then kisses her, only to bite her neck immediately afterwards. Sarah slaps him, revealing his mutated eyes, and Patton sheds his skin, transforming into a new, spider-like form. Sarah tries to run away, entering into his room only to discover to her horror lots of cocoons hanging from the ceiling, including one with the kid from earlier and his Uncle Ted tied up in his bed. Patton professes his love to Sarah Jane, while hundreds of baby spiders emerge from Uncle Ted's body as he screams in pain. As Patton approaches Sarah Jane, Morlan suddenly arrives. When Sarah Jane asks him who he is, Morlan simply introduces himself as a surprise dinner guest, while acknowledging her presence with an indifferent glance. As Patton attacks Morlan, Sarah Jane takes advantage of the situation to escape. Morlan muses that Patton is a very young totem, but he will suffice as an appetizer, dismembering him and absorbing his life force, setting the stage for the larger Spider-Verse event. The next day, Sarah Jane thinks that the whole ordeal was just a dream until she checks the bit mark on her neck and sees hundreds of baby spiders emerging from it. The issue is steeped in horror tropes, with Patton's transformation and actions reflecting a grotesque and terrifying reimagining of the Spider-Man origin. This issue stands out for its unique and chilling portrayal of a familiar origin story, offering a fresh perspective on the consequences of power and responsibility when placed in the hands of a troubled individual. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content, let us know what you want to see next in the comments down below.